Welcome back everybody to another fly tying tutorial. Today's video I'm going to be tying a emerald shiner pattern. Um, this is a very predominant bait fish for the Great Lakes region, Northeast region. Um, for materials, I'm going to start off with a Montana Fly Company uh, model 750 hook in size 6. For thread, I'm going to be using a UTC 140 denier in brown olive. For the tail and wing sections, I'm going to be using Fly Tires Dungeons Starburst fibers in the pearl color. For the mid wing or middle wing, I'm going to be using Hairlines Ice Dub in silver gray. And for the top of the fly, the top wing will be Hairline's Extra Select Craft Fur and Medium Olive. And for the finishing touch for the fly will be Fish Skull's Living Eyes in the Ice Color and 3 millimeter. Alright, let's get started. Go ahead and lay a thread base. I'm going to take some of these starburst fibers. And you want a pretty decent sized clump, not huge, but it's hard to see. I had to make the background white for this. Maybe eighth of an inch thick or so. You want to get your fibers lined up. I have to pull a few out in the back. Get a length. Go ahead and tie that in. And you're going to take and Wrap right in front of that and fibers and go towards the front of the hook. And you're going to take what's left of your fibers and you're going to wrap them forward. And go ahead and capture them. Now, one thing about caught some. There we go. <clears throat> you will have a slight bump right here. Um, I haven't found where it affects the fly at all. You're gonna leave these longer. Fold them back. And wrap right in front. It creates your your wing and when this fly gets wet that thread will show through your fibers on the hook shank next we're going to take some silver gray ice dub and you want it to be the same length as your Fibers you just tied in. And I sort of take this as the opportunity to make my little ramp and start the building process for the eyes. Next, we'll come back in with another portion of the starburst fibers lay those on top
and then take a small chunk of craft fur. And you want to pick out the longer hairs and then the so-called guard hairs, all that fuzz in the bottom. Try to get them lined up as best you can. Go ahead and tie that in. I'm going to take and start building a, a thread head. Go ahead and whip finish. And for this next portion, you can use hemostats, you can use needle nose. You just want to take and try to flatten out this head. And that's what your eyes will set, set on. You got it kind of flat there. And take some super glue. Don't need a whole lot. Come in with your eyes. Got too much glue on the one side. Take a little bit of it off. There we go. And then I'm going to come in with some Solarez Flex Formula. I just want to kind of create a oh, way too much. Good. Just take it glob of it, put it on the top, and then I just kind of work it around the, the head. For this fly, you can also use liquid fusion. Um, this is actually sort of a take off of DeFrank's Emerald Shiner. Um, 
very good pattern for steelhead trout And go ahead and hit it with a UV light. And there you have it. It's emerald shiner pattern. Um, I tied it on a size 6 just for kind of demonstration purposes, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, you could definitely fish it. Um, I like to do smaller sizes. Um, and there's also another product you could use for a head. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Uh, fish skulls, fish masks. Um, I don't have any that are small enough for this pattern. Uh, the smallest I have goes, it's just, hook range is a size two to six. It's a number five. Uh, but the, it's just, it, it creates too much bulk. Um, there's not enough materials on here to, to really make it adhere to the, to the hook. But, uh, if you like what you see, uh, please like subscribe, comment, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you fished this pattern. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks.